Hey everyone, how's it going? George here and I want to take a couple of minutes today to talk to you about how to overcome rejection when selling. Regardless of the kind of job you have right now or your title with that job, you are always doing some form of selling. Okay, Maybe not on an everyday basis, but at some point in your career, in your job, you're going to be dealing with some form of selling of one kind or another. Okay, give you a quick background. Back when I was 18, about 10 years ago, I worked for a national call center doing customer service work and we did it for all the major companies. Mainly what I did at that point was telemarketing work, okay? For the first year, it totally just sucked, okay? I wasn't getting hardly any of my leads converted and I was on the verge of losing my job with the company, okay? What I finally did one day is I started hearing some of the other agents around me and the way they were talking to their potential customers on the telephone. So what I did is I had a 15 minute break coming up I sat there, didn't go on the break, and I was listening to the other agents that were talking. They were making it personal in a way, okay? They weren't just reading off the script off the computers that we had from our managers and the company that we were you know, selling for. They were making it personal. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? How's the weather there? Um, oh, you got uh, three kids? That's awesome. You know, how old are they? If you don't mind me asking, that's great. I've got a couple of kids myself, et cetera, et cetera. You know, making it personal, okay? Now, with that being said, uh, later in that day on our lunch break, I went around and I talked to a few of them and I said, hey, look, I just simply want to know what it is you're doing to become so successful. Can you give me some help and advice? They said it's very simple. All we did, and this was the answer for most of them, they said all we did was we sat down with a family uh, member or a friend or you know somebody that they were comfortable with that had a positive, open mind about what they were doing for a living and they went through everything with them you know the they went through a couple times with them reading the scripts and you know letting them say okay yes i'm very interested let's go ahead and set this up today when can y'all come out blah 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 and then go around and say oh no this is too much or what happens with my credit card information or this that and the other you know basically doing it both ways okay one doing it straight easy confidential uh you know you know building up your confidence and stuff the other way was sitting there and literally being the bad guy, you know, saying this ain't working, I don't want it, it's too damn expensive, whatever the case may be, you know. And what they said is it's not just a one-time thing. You can't just sit down right now, 10 minutes later, boom, you're cured over the fear of rejection, okay. You have to just keep practicing it, you know. Um, and also don't, uh, what a lot of them did, they didn't even come up with the scripts, okay. What they did is they just sat and went over the scripts that we were providing in our training class they got familiar with the wordings, the terms and all that, and they just used it all and built their own scripts. So it sounded more like them being personal with the customer that they were talking to instead of sounding like, oh, you're just another number to us, and I hope to God you sign up so I can get my referral commission. You know what I'm saying? So, therefore, um, this is, you know, it, it helped me out, guys, really. I mean, I went from hardly no selling to being a wonderful seller, and not to toot my own horn or anything, but, I, you know, I was a wonderful seller. Uh, almost all the campaigns that they brought me on, I was, I was, you know, always put on there to drive in the traffic and everything, and the new customers and stuff. But getting back to the point of this, just because I had success, of course, it doesn't mean you will, okay? But the bottom line is, is you got to get over that fear of rejection, okay? Sit down with somebody who has an open mind about what you're doing, um, regardless if it's working for yourself or, a, or if you like me and work in a call center, take an inbound or outbound calls every day. Sit down with somebody, go over the scripts, create a couple of different ones, get used to the terminologies that you're talking about, get comfortable with the pitch, and I guarantee you that even if every single potential lead doesn't convert into a sale or a new customer for you of some kind or the other, that at least you'll be able to handle every kind of rebuttal or every kind of positive experience that comes your way. And when you do get a rebuttal, you want to sit there and go, uh, uh, um, um, I, um, uh, yeah, um, I don't know. You know, that doesn't sound professional. If you get a rebuttal, you want to be able to say, well, Mr. Jones, I definitely appreciate that question. If you give me a couple of moments of your time, I will get that information for you. Please hold on just a moment. Do you, are you okay with that? And, you know, unless they're a real, you know, uh, douchebag, you know, they're going to be like, yeah, sure, no problem. You know, put me on hold. And you get the answer for them. You know, don't ever sound scared. Don't ever lose that level of confidence to where it makes you sound like you're the professional. You know damn well what you're talking about. And, you know, you're like some of these people who can sell ice at Eskimos. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I hope this video helps you out, guys. I apologize if it might be a little longer than I wanted it to be. But, 
right now that's what you need to do okay you need to go find somebody who's open minded about what you're doing sit down run through your sales pitch a couple of times have them just be uh, very cooperative about it agreeing to everything do a couple more times with them being a total part of my language a total douchebag about it uh, throwing every rebuttal every refusal your way and I guarantee you before you know it, you're going to be so confident that there won't be any kind of question that comes your way or any kind of situation that you won't feel 100% confident in handling. Okay? Have any questions? Leave me a YouTube comment. And I'll get back to you. Feel free to like, share, or subscribe to this uh, YouTube channel. See you guys later.